So you have that meeting at uh, and in Williamsburg, and then you leave there, and you think to yourself, "All right, I guess I got to figure out what I'm going to do." Yeah, it was interesting on the on the drive home. The first thing that I was actually thinking about, and I think Tim knows this, when I first moved to Williamsburg about two years ago, I wanted to get more involved in the community. I wanted to give back because I've had so many people help me. So I wanted to be a mentor at the Launchpad and do that. We discussed it, and Tim told me what a small town it is, and I got to know some really great people. So my first thought driving home was I've been working from home since 1997 and I know from talking with a lot of people in town, they wouldn't know what to do with themselves if they had to work from home. So the first thing I did was make a movie about working from home and put it up on my Facebook channel. And it was me sitting outside on my deck, which is where I work a lot of times. If I got to make phone calls or something like that, I'll just go outside if it's a nice day and sit at my desk. So I thought I'll do some reassuring videos like this and talk to people and help them. And at the same time, I was actually getting calls and emails from people going, I got to work from home and I've got kids and I've got dogs and my wife and uh, what do I do? How do I find solitude? <laughs> so I started working on that before I actually started pivoting my business. Yeah, and you found that there's a lot of things that, uh, that people don't know about and that really is kind of like your first uh, pivot if you will just uh how do you set up your your home office so that you can be the most productive yeah. and uh some cool ticks, tips and tricks that you shared and it starts, it's starts with the pillow being correctly placed correct i'm sorry it starts with the pillow <laughs> being correctly placed <laughs> yes look at, look at your environment <laughs> You know, so those those kind of things. Plus, you know, what do you have? Do you have a proper camera? Do you have a proper microphone? Do you have earphones to stick in your in your ears? Do you have a big enough monitor? Uh, do you have a computer that's yours, or do you have to borrow one, or use use your company's, or do you have enough bandwidth? I had a friend of mine who uh, is an accountant, and all of a sudden he's working from home, and he calls me up and he goes, "I I can't like load anything. I can't do any work here. What's going on?" Well, it turns out he doesn't watch much TV. And he had the lowest amount of bandwidth you could possibly have in your home. And suddenly people are watching Netflix all day long and his wife is working on a computer all day and he's working on a computer all day. And they've got like a 130K connection. I do feel like <laughs> no one's talking about that, right? Like there is clearly like an issue with that. Yeah. Um, I've been working remotely personally, not since 96, but um, probably since 2017 uh, when I got rid of my space. Uh, Tim and I used to run a similar space. Uh, I was mine was in downtown Norfolk, and um, I, I mean, at that point, I had to ramp up my bandwidth speed pretty quickly because I did a lot of videos myself. I did a lot of live videos, and like it was not working at my current speed. So I had to figure that out. I had to buy a new router. Um, but then you add someone else in there, and then you know you're already using three devices right now, and you're your third and fourth screens. And then you add another person to that, and then. Apparently, if you have kids, you know, they're they're doing streaming stuff. I mean, so it's a it's a big deal. I still think that no one's talking enough about that. 